Hey guys, welcome to this screencast. In this screencast, I will show you how to enable CloudFront compression onto your S3 website. Right. Now, I have a website called datadatacode.com. If I refresh this, this is a simple to do application. So at the moment, this website is hosted on S3 and it is served via CloudFront. So if I just go into uh, the AWS console and I will go into S3. In here, I have a S3 bucket which has a uh, static web application, the configuration enable. So let me just uh, click on this web application, the S3 bucket. So if I go into the properties, you'll see the static web hosting has been enabled. Now I want to go into the CloudFront distribution where I have configured that particular S3 bucket as an endpoint onto my CloudFront distribution. So this is my CloudFront distribution. If I go into this, into the origins, you'll see the default route has been configured with that particular S3 bucket. So I have previously uh, done a video with, with uh, this full setup. So I will post a link somewhere so you can refer to that. So in this video, we are going to enable compression onto this particular web application. So at the moment, let me just go into the uh, web application and go to inspect element. Now if I go to the network tab and if I refresh the web application, you see it starts loading the CSS and JavaScript files. Let me just close down this window. Let's click this uh, main.css file and you'll see the loading time, the content downloading time is almost one second. It is similar for the JavaScript file as well. So if I just go into the header section and just uh, inspect the content content type you'll see it is the content type is application slash JavaScript so at the moment no compression has been enabled onto JavaScript CSS or any other file types so we are going to enable compression such that our web application will load quite fast now in AWS documentation there's a particular section uh, reserved for serving compressed file. So in this documentation, it explains the steps on how to enable compression onto a CloudFront. The CloudFront support different uh, file types. You see, there's a list of file types uh, that supports compression. So among them, you have text slash HTML, JavaScript, and also CSS. JSON. So these file types supports gzip compression. So enabling compression is quite easily uh, done with uh, CloudFront. So there are basically two steps. The first steps is to go to your CloudFront distribution and click the behavior tab then you have to choose the behavior that is linked with your S3 web application. In my case, the default route has been linked with the S3 web application. I have another route that is connecting to the API, but I will choose the default route which connects with the API, uh, with connect with the S3 website. Now we'll click edit. And in here, you see the origin has been set as the S3 web website. You'll find another attribute called compress object automatically. You simply have to click yes and yes edit. There's one additional step you have to do, otherwise the CloudFront will not compress the 
files uh, in GC. While it is in progress, you have to go to S3 and search for your website bucket. In my case, it's daytodaycode.com. Just click on that. Then select the permission tab. Select cross configuration. So at the moment, I have not allowed the header content length to be sent over to the requester. So I need to have to enable or allow content header header. So I will just copy this line, paste it, and instead of authorization header, I will type content dash length. This is a must. Otherwise, uh, the CloudFront doesn't know the length of your content, hence it will not compress your objects. Now, one other thing, since we are uh, in this three, you can actually enable compression or enable the encoding type inside the cloud, uh, S3 as well. For example, if I just go into object and go to properties and into the metadata, you can simply add the metadata for content encoding as gzip. So you can enable gzip compression in this manner as well. So if you do in this manner, you have to upload the files in gzip format and the CloudFront will neglect any other compression that has been enabled or that has been enabled uh, in the cloud front and accept whatever the compression encoding coming from your S3. But I don't want to do that. I will just allow cloud front to uh, do the compression. All right, so I think we are ready now. So let's just let me go into the S3 bucket and just verify it if I have saved that properly. Okay, I think it's saved. Okay. Now my CloudFront distribution is still in progress, but uh, let's see if if uh, it has already started uh, delivering content with GZIP encoding. Now let me just press hold the refresh button and click empty cache and hard reload. I think it has not yet enabled it because, uh, all right, just let me just, okay, okay, the content type, content encoding is gzip. Let me just refresh it again. Okay, I think it has not yet uh, done the, uh, content encoding you see it's the type is still text slash CSS so we're gonna have to wait until the CloudFront status goes to completed Okay, I open up a new incognito window and paste up, paste the website URL and hit enter. And let me just hit it again. You'll see now the JavaScript loads in 56 microseconds. So it has compressed a whole lot. I think it's more than 70% compression. If I go into the CSS file, it's uh, 200. 38 milliseconds still again a good compression ratio the JavaScript has done a tremendous job I mean it has compressed more than 70% I believe okay so that's it so those are the two steps you're gonna to have to do that so once the compression is enabled your web application will load much faster thank you very much